Hello everyone, this is Sean from minifigpriceguide.com and I thought I'd make a quick video of how I put together this little balloon stand. Um, nothing too hard involved, but I thought I'd show a couple of the unique pieces and what the inspiration for this was. So, a couple days ago I picked up two copies of this set, 70900 Joker's Balloon Escape. Um, the set came with Joker and Batman and a bunch of miscellaneous pieces, but I was kind of intrigued by these balloons on the backpack that helped Joker raise up. And I felt with two of them that I might be able to create a nice balloon stand. And to go one step further, I thought it'd be kind of fun to take off the heads from some Disney figures and make it like the balloons that we used to get in the theme parks where you'd buy like a Mickey or a Minnie or a Donald Duck balloon. Um, I ended up using the Space Alien, Mini, Cheshire Cat, Donald and Daffy Duck. No, uh, Daisy Duck, sorry. Um, uh, and a couple other characters. Um, the only real special piece that you need is this. a couple of these blue guys right here. These are technique pins that come in all sorts of sets. You can usually get them in gray, gray or blue. Um, the set comes with plenty of... Uh, these, which I don't even know what they're called, um, but I use those to hold the balloons. And the set also comes with, let's take a look here. So as you turn around, let's give this set a little bit of a spin. You can see I had to, uh, I used the two paintbrush rollers from the sets to make the valves on the balloon cases. Uh, I also used the wheel. Now, from my collection, I picked up. Uh, a couple of these round right here red and white round cylinder pieces to make the helium canisters and I used a uh, the technique the red technique pin that came with the set right here to uh, attach it and then I stuffed the gray technique pin one by two in uh, that red pin. Kind of a hack, but it held it together. Um, in between these pieces that are holding the balloons, I put one one by two plate. Then you'll see that I've just got the balloons stacked up at different heights to make them look cool. Um, I picked a random guy that I thought might look like a balloon vendor. Um, he's actually from a soccer series. I think he's the goalie from a soccer series. He's got the Lego logo on the back. Pretty cool little figure. Um, and then these white posts came with the Joker's balloon escape. And you see at the top of um, the ones where I'm putting the minifigure heads, you have to put one of those blue technique pins. Uh, it's a little precarious. It slides around, but it's fairly sturdy. As you can see, I'm holding it upside down. No problems. Um, and then for our little guy, I just got a kid from one of the sets. I mean, this is an extra figure that I bought separately off BrickLink. Uh, I've got him holding a Mickey Mouse balloon. Again, you see the blue technique pin. And that's it. Um, if you want to see the part numbers, in case you just want to build it yourself. Here's the part numbers from the set. You'll need that guy, 4604304. need a couple of these rollers, but you can come up with something else. Um, here's the white bars that I was using. There's another one down here. I was originally going to use this dial to look like the level on the helium container, but it actually didn't look that good, so I passed on that. Um, I used the gray wheel that came with this set also. Here it is, right here, I think. Yep, that's the valve to turn on the helium. And I think that's about it. So tell me what you think. Um, I've been meaning to make this for like two days since I got these sets, and uh, I did it last night. It was a pretty quick build. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, and that's it.
Thanks a lot. This is Sean from minifigpriceguide.com, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Please check out my other figures and videos on my YouTube channel and my website, minifigpriceguide.com.